Hey guys, we're gonna jump right in this tutorial with no chit chat involved. First, we're actually gonna start with the eyes instead of the face makeup, and I'll show you why in a minute. We're gonna be using the Artist Couture Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm gonna start with the shade Soft Peach, which is this basic nude white color, and I'm gonna blend that in the crease and all over basically with a E25 brush from Sigma. This is gonna help soften up the look, and it's also gonna help the other colors blend so easily. Next, we're gonna go in with Morocco, which is this super warm tone, reddish brown color. It's mostly a red color, but it transfers more as a little bit of a brown undertone. And I'm gonna take that same E25 brush and I'm gonna blend that right in the crease. I'm using a super light hand, that way there are no harsh lines with this and it's blended out really soft and seamlessly. And I'm just doing small circular motions and definitely taking my time because I want the transition shade to be like one of the softest shades. And I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more of that Morocco color and just keep blending it out. The more you blend it out, of course, the softer it's gonna be. And I'm actually gonna take my eyeshadow out a little bit further than usual. Next, I'll go in with Fudge, which is basically a matte brown color. Like, there's not much to it. These colors are super, super pigmented. But um, I'm gonna be going in with that E25 brush again, and I'm basically gonna apply this right on top of Morocco, the first color that we applied, or really the second color we applied. And I'm just gonna really take my time blending it out. I did use a little bit less color because I don't want as much dark brown all over the crease area. But I am just going back and forth from inner to outer corner, making sure it is soft and seamless. Now I'm gonna do a weird little thing. I'm gonna take this random white eyeliner pencil. You can use any cream, white, or light color product that you have, and I'm gonna place it in the inner corner. This is gonna help us set a light base for the color we're gonna put down on the inner corner and help it to show up better. Then I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger a little bit. Then I'm going in with the greatest color of all times. This is pink champagne. Oh my gosh, it has this beautiful foiled finish. The camera does not do it justice. I don't know why it wasn't picking it up as pretty as it is, but I just dampened it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus Spray and I'm going in with this tiny dome shaped brush and I'm just applying it to the inner corner, but I am packing the color on because I want it to show up. Then I'm gonna go in with Heirloom, which is a dark purple shade and I'm gonna place this right in the center of the eye with that same dome shaped brush. I'll have the brush put down below. It's a Morphe brush, I'm not sure of the number of it off the top of my head, but it's just a tiny little pencil brush basically, and I'm going to make sure I'm just blending this back and forth. I really had to build up this color because it wasn't showing up that well, um, so I just kept adding and blending and adding and blending, and then I was also softening up that line there where the pink champagne and the purple color meet. Then I went back in with fudge and a little dome-shaped brush that's a little bit more tapered. And I start blending this on the outer V area, the places that don't have the eyeshadow. Then I go in with that E25 brush from Sigma that we used originally, and I blend that out. Next, I'm gonna take Noir, which is a plain matte black color, and this is where we're gonna deepen this outer corner up and really open up the outer corner of the eyes. I love the black color. I did have to build it up a little bit because it was blending out into almost nothing, as you can see here. So I was going back, I was adding some, I was blending it out, then I was adding some and blending it out. That's the way to get your softest look, especially when using dark colors, because they can be very dangerous. And by the way, it's okay if you go out really far because we're gonna clean that up in just a minute. For our next step, when in doubt, wing it out. We're gonna go in with a little bit of Inglot Black Gel Liner and this EO6 Liner Brush from Sigma. This Sigma brush is the trick to doing perfect wing liner. I use this in every tutorial when I use a gel. Of course, I'm gonna wing it out on this tutorial. You don't have to if you don't want to. Definitely make this look your own. If you just wanna do liner, just apply a thin line across the upper lash line to define the eyes. If you wanna wing it out, well then, honey child, you just wing it out as far as that. I can see. 
Okay, I'm just being silly now, but <laughs> I'm gonna wing it out. I've done wing eyeliner on a bazillion tutorials. If you want an in-depth version, I have a video on it. Next, I'm gonna take a clean little wipey and I'm going to clean up the outer edge. I added a layer of mascara and I'm gonna add Iconic by House of Lashes. These lashes are popping right now. They're super popular and I love them so much. They're so pretty. Um, next, I've already got my foundation and primer on. I've done that in a lot of tutorials. You can check out my foundation routine if you want to know more about that. I'm going to be adding my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC30 to the usual areas to highlight my face. Then I'm going to go in with a 57 brush from Sephora. This is their concealer brush. I love this brush to blend out my concealer. And I'm just going to blend it out using a dabbing motion. That way we don't move the concealer around too much. Next, I'm going to go in with this translucent powder from Neutrogena, which has become one of my favorite setting powders from the drugstore. I'm going to pack this onto the concealer. It's going to help it last longer, going to make it look smoother, and going to help my eyeliner and bottom lash line not to fade into my concealer. Now I'm going to go into the Coco Contour Palette from Too Faced. I've really been loving this palette. This is like the third time I've used it and it's pretty bomb.com so I'm going to keep using it. But I'm just going to contour the normal areas below the cheekbones, carve them out a bit, little bit, give us the sun-kissed forehead area. Next I'll add a little bit of blush. I'm using this peachy shade from Too Faced that I didn't get a shot of. I'm so sorry. I'll have it listed right in the description box. Can we take a look at my Becca highlighter in Opal? Yeah. Can you cry for me right now? It broke. Oh, I'm just going to apply a little bit to the tip of the nose, the upper cheekbone area, and I also applied a little bit to my cupid's bow, but you didn't see all that. Now I'm going to go in with fudge and an angled brush and I'm going to brush that right along the lower lash line. Being sure to get it as tight and as close up to those lower lashes as I possibly can. Then you don't want to leave it like that. You want to soften it up a little bit. Going in with a dome shaped brush from Morphe, I'm going to grab that Morocco color which is a red tone color and I'm going to soften up that lower lash line. Lastly, I'm going to add a bit of that pink champagne color to the inner corner to really open up the eyes and make us look awake and sparkly. Then I'm going to grab this Marc Jacobs liner pencil, which is the only liner that stays in your waterline all day long. It's $25 and that totally stinks, but it works. And this is their highlighter in black and I love it so much. I didn't get a shot of me doing my lips, but I used the new liquid lipstick by Manny Makeup Artist and Gerard and Serenity. It is so beautiful. I'll have it linked down below with a discount code. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.